Well, let's cross then uh, live to Kiev. Talk to our correspondent there, Catherine Norris, Trent, our senior reporter. Catherine, how um, significant is this then? I mean, it does appear, doesn't it, that the entire city of uh, Severodonetsk uh, has been completely cut off now. The situation is extremely serious indeed for the remaining people and the Ukrainian fighters in Severodonetsk. All three bridges have now been destroyed, leaving into the town, making access extremely difficult. Um, they have to basically cross a river on foot, which, as you can imagine, for getting supplies in and out, for getting troops in and out, makes them uh, extremely vulnerable to the continued intense Russian shelling. And Ukrainian officials are saying that the further Russian and battalions are being drafted into the, the Severodonetsk area. Uh, they say with the aim of uh, cutting off that region, of encircling it and then pressing on. And that would fit into a pattern we've seen before in this Russian offensive. So grinding down cities, pounding them with artillery uh, and trying to cut them off. I mean, it's taking a very long time. These battles are drawing out. They're, they're very fierce artillery duels and that the towns and villages in the centre of them are being completely flattened and the casualty numbers are, are, are very high indeed. But this would fit the pattern we've seen so far of the Russian troops uh, grinding down certain areas, trying to encircle them and then trying to move on, even though they're, they're making slow progress. There are fears among Ukrainian officials now that this could be the, the near future for Severodonetsk and its uh, sister city of Lysychansk and that then uh, the Russian forces will move on further west around the area of Slovyansk and try in turn to encircle that too. Meanwhile, Catherine, a France 24 team has been in Butcher near to uh, Kyiv, the site of a, a mass grave discovered there, some very distressing uh, findings as well. Absolutely. You know, it's more than two months now since Russian forces pulled out of uh, uh, this area around the Kiev region, but these bodies are still being unearthed. They, uh, yesterday, uh, investigators dug out the bodies of seven men. Uh, the police chief says it believes they were clear victims of torture and execution. France 24 team witnessed that their hands were tied. Several of them had it what seemed to look like bullet wounds to the knees and to the head. Uh, these bodies were in quite a severe state of decomposition, though, so they will now be taken to the forensic uh, examinations teams who are uh, examining all the corpses found in this area and then passing on any evidence, potential evidence, of war crimes that they find. There are not only Ukrainian teams on the ground, but international teams from France, also uh, from a special commission by the UN. There have been more than 1,300 bodies found so far in the Kyiv greater region alone and there are still hundreds of people missing. So further bodies could be dug up soon. It's very difficult sometimes to find them because they've been buried in wooden areas which have also been mined, Ukrainian officials say, by the Russian troops. Catherine, thanks very much. Catherine uh, Norris-Trent, our senior reporter, joining us live from Kyiv. And you can see uh, Catherine's